Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Metro. Ah, uh, this will be part four. Sorry, I'm doing some <laughs> connectivity shenanigans. I'll be with you in a moment. Come on now. All right. <clears throat> so, today is something different and something crazy because I'm actually starting this video with something that I want to talk about. I know. <laughs> uh, good. I'm gonna turn the lights off. Yeah, that improves uh, the experience for nobody but me. So, what I, I saw on the internet today, there was a, a video of the developers at, over at Double Fine, uh, the Tim Schafer guys, which have made some of my favorite games in the whole world. Uh, games like uh, uh, Grim Fandango, which I'm going to start playing the remastered version of. Very excited for that. Uh, not, I'm not going to stream it, though. Sorry to everybody. Uh, uh, and uh, games like Psychonauts, which are super amazing. Or, uh, and a game like Psychonauts. Hi, Paul. Uh, oh, and anyway. Uh, it was them, uh, the entire development team, or at least, you know, key members of the development team, over at Double Fine, were, uh, were watching a, uh, a speedrunner, uh, by trade, uh, or someone who has a passion for it, uh, play a speedrun of their, uh, their game, Psychonauts. And just absolutely destroying this video game, like, with glitches, like, <laughs> um, How's the exploiting the game in every incredible and uh, uh, conceivable way? I just hit my head on that. Ow. Uh, but uh, what surprised me and what actually made that video fun to watch for me was how uh, not just that uh, the development team and Tim Shaver himself took it very well, uh, that they seemed to you know enjoy the experience. Uh, and that's just something that I liked. I liked to see that. I don't know. It warmed my heart. Alright, so there ends, uh... <laughs> the thing that I was going to talk about. We are going to die. Oh. Actually, um... <laughs> what just happened there was, uh... Have you guys ever been on a, uh... On a roller coaster? Ah. Uh, there's, there's two kinds of people that go on roller coasters. The, uh, the super adrenaline junkies that are just psyched about everything. Like, yeah, we're gonna go on the roller coaster. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna rip my spine out through my asshole. This is gonna be amazing. And then there are people like me uh, who begrudgingly go on roller coasters, but the entire time, going, I don't know about this, guys. This seems dangerous. Ah, uh, that's... That's me. Uh, so, uh, there are times during the, uh, the, the roller coaster where, like, it starts to go up over the edge or it goes down for a little bit, uh, uh, and you just get this unbelievable feeling of dread. That's what happened, uh, that's what <laughs> happened to me when the rail car picked up speed for, like, a second. That feeling of, ah, oh, fuck, we are so dead. Oh, god damn it! Austin, do not shoot at the guys that are just yelling. Shoot at the ones that can actually kill me. Oh, like this guy! <clears throat> I'm manly, wondering that we are manly. It's nice to see uh, people in this video. Oh, and there we go. He's dead. As per prediction. Well, prediction based on experience. I have beaten this game. Great. 
I would like to take the opportunity to say, uh, why don't we just grab the lever? Maybe slow down a bit. Gah. All right, again, what is it with rail cars? To me, seem like so much more violent and like ass clinchingly terrifying uh, when they crash or anything. Uh, like I said to you guys that uh, I did something that I never thought I would. I purchased Battlefield 4 and I've been playing the campaign on my own time. And uh, like I'd be on top of a bur like a building and then it just like like crumbles and implodes under my feet and I'm like, oh god, I'm in danger. Uh, but not really, because nothing's going to kill me, because this is a cutscene. Uh, uh, like, I, <laughs> I slid down a burning building shooting, you know, anti-American whatever people. Interchangeable. And, uh, all right, I'm going to see if I can go down that pipe. Wait, no. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. I'm going to see what's over here first. Anyway, uh, you know, shooting anti-American whatevers. Uh, all the way down, and I just uh, thought to myself, I'm still bored. Hmm, do I want that? Ah, I've got a pretty good setup. Uh, however, uh, that rail car just almost fell on top of me, and I was like, <laughs> Oh my god. Well, that's a fucking noise I just made, huh? <laughs> Trains, man. Although I will say that the only mode of transportation that frightens me is, uh, are boats. I can't stand being on the water. I think that may be that... Calm yourself. Uh, that may, uh, stem from my, uh, my just fear of the water in general. But I'm a, uh, I mean, I... I'm not, like, super into it, but I am a, uh, a registered scuba diver. Or, no, not registered, but certified scuba diver. Who, uh... Um... Like, I took the course a while ago. I got certified to, like, 60... It was either 60 feet or 60 meters. And, uh... Oop. Let's explore. Uh... And, uh, I haven't really done it since. But, uh, you know, I did it, I was proficient at it, and I, it didn't really scare me. But being on the water? Son of a bitch. It is the worst. Um. Ah. Like, uh, and, uh, my friend, uh, Ian, who, uh, is also a member of Sentient Blender Productions, uh, he, uh, and his family have been, uh, had a place down at d down near a shore. Like, a beachfront property. Like, it has been in their family for a while. I mean, nothing fancy, obviously. It's one of those, like, hey, you know, can we rent a, rent a house, maybe? You know, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy, but very, very fun to be there. I've, uh, I've had the good fortune of spending, you know, a, uh, a modest amount of time there. And, uh, it's been nothing but fun the entire time. However, Ian has spent almost every summer there, and has become very proficient at driving, like, a small dinghy. And, uh, he took me out in that once, and was doing, like, whatever the equivalent of is J-turns in the water, and I'm just white-knuckled, clinging to the side of this, like, what is the size of a metal bathtub in the water, going, Ian, if you want to still be friends, you better not flip this thing! <laughs> oh my god. At that point, I could have eaten a nickel. Or, uh, <laughs> I could have eaten a $20 bill in shit quarters. I was so tense. Ugh. Alright. Hey guys! Alright, again with the lights. Makes me all stabby. Don't shine them in my eyes. Man, our team has absolutely the worst luck of anybody that I've ever seen in a video game. Or anybody in general. He always seems to happen upon bands of survivors in the tunnels during their darkest hour. Hey everybody! Uh, it, 
he never just comes up on anybody and he's like, Hey everybody, what's going on? And he's like, Artyom, thank god you're here! <laughs> we just finished making all of this homemade ice cream and we don't have enough people to eat it! Will you help us? Thank you, apparently guy who sounds like Dracula. It's always just like, hey guys, need any help? He's like, yes, thank you, we're all gonna die. This is our Independence Day. Do not go quietly into the... Canceling the apocalypse. All right, guys. Be good. This is like a... This is like the Rose Bowl, the Super Bowl, and the Stanley Cup all put together for us. And we're dead. Nope. Nope. Not dead. My squishy human friends. I will be the only one to survive this. I am so the protagonist of this video game, it's almost not fair. Hmm. You know, if you really wanted to, like, shore up your defenses, I would not... I'd... I'd do something about the pipes. You know, if I'm honest, these guys do tend to crawl through pipes. They're big fans. Huge fans. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a, this is awkward and fun for uh, for an anecdote. Speaking of pipes, I for a for a very short time uh, until I lost it, uh, smoked my tobacco in a pipe. Not ironically, I was uh, I was like I was sure that I'm like you know you tamp it just right. You smoke it like it, it's just better somehow. Not better for me, obviously. I'm getting that, uh, I'm getting, uh, I'm just accumulating that black tar all up in my lungs. But, uh, just like better in general. Uh, it makes, makes everything good. So, I like, I, I bought a pipe, I bought a whole bunch of like really nice, uh, well, not really nice, but, you know, like, I'm in high school, what doesn't cost very much, but is still like, not an embarrassingly cheap version uh, of uh, not uh, smoking tobacco, loose tobacco. Uh, so I got all that. I did the research, and I smoked. I smoked a pipe for a while. I was a guy. I was Austin who smoked a pipe. Uh, uh, like uh, I was like, this is it. This is one of those things. That's, uh, this is gonna set me apart from the rest. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> Then I misplaced the pipe and went back to smoking Marble or Reds like the rest of them. That was, uh, that was my journey into enlightenment. That was my odyssey. <laughs> and it wasn't like a long time, it was like a month. I don't know. Alright. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dad! I can't even do that. Like the high, hoarse British accent. Whenever I do, like, a high, like, whenever I, like, raise my voice to do an accent, it always just sounds weird. It always sounds, like, stupid and sing songy and cartoony, like, Hi, everybody! <laughs> oh boy! Alright. Hey. Too many of the mutants Shit's broke fucked, through. right? Polis must be warned. But my fighting days are over, as you can see. Yeah, I can I see you hold your side. You. Like every wounded person in movies or video games. 
Contact Polis. <sighs> my spleen. Message I have prepared. Yeah, they've they got my spleen, man. Good luck, brother. I like how they avoid. <laughs> ah, never mind. I was about to say I like how they avoid saying comrade, but I'm like, oh wait, no, there are communists in this game, and they say that. Right. All right, I gotta stock up on ammunition or something. All right, that's good. That's great. Thank you, game. Don't step in that. Ooh. I'll be, uh, I'll be taking this. Can I take this? Oh, right. Oh, blast. Not a whole lot of people are watching right now. That's what I get for waiting so long to do my... <sighs> Man, the sound design in this game is impeccable, and the sound that the monsters make is so unnerving. It's like they just went to the zoo and recorded lions roaring. They're like, yeah, that should make people shit their britches. And it, it does, in stunning form. All right. I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, I have full shotgun ammo. How have we not capitalized on this? I can shoot everyone. Ah, yes, I remember this part. Every now and again, like a little rat thing will, there's one, come up and try to, you know, nibble on my balls. So we are going to have to say no to that. Wow, that almost felt like overkill. Okay, so the best... Make sure to shine your light in their general direction. I'll make them all scurred and they'll run off. Alright, we're gonna have to do some high speed exploring. Do 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 fuck. Do 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 Ah, do Ah, we got a brave one. Foolish is what I meant. Son of a bitch. It doesn't even really hurt that much on this mode. It just kind of feels annoying. Like if you're sitting in, like, a schoolroom or a movie theater and somebody just won't stop kicking the back of your fucking seat. I've noticed something. I hate children. But not like a lot. I just... I don't know. I suppose I'm not as mature as I would like to think that I am. Holy shit. <laughs> this must mean Dmitry Glukovsky. Glukovsky? I wonder if that is supposed to actually be him, hoarding copies of Metro 2033 and its sequels. That would be cool. I like that. Speaking of him, uh, he is not uh, directly involved in the Metro uh, series of video games. That is, uh, that is the publisher and developer Deep Silver. Um, recently, uh, uh, the Metro Last Light, the game that I'm hoping, actually, I kind of want to do it this way uh, afterward. No, it can't be this way. Is it? No, 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 we'll just have to go around. Oh. Uh, they, uh, uh, the Metro Last Light, it did not, it was not based on any book by Dmitry Klukowski. 
However, uh, I believe he is either finished or in the process of, stop that, writing a book. Ah, here we are. Ow. Uh, writing a book based off of that. Hello? Uh, and uh, Deep Silver has also said... <laughs> Stop that. I'm not talking about... They're n these aren't literature... J Fuck, I'm... <laughs> I'm talking about Dmitry Glukovsky, the writer of the Metro series. So yes, technically I am talking about literature, but I'm not... I'm not a geek. <laughs> You can't... You can't... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, what he has said uh, is that he, he likes that, and Deep Silver has also said, the developer of these games, uh, has said that Metro Last Light did very well. Uh, you know, from a sales perspective, and they are interested in continuing the series, you know, onward. Which, to me, is like, awesome, thumbs up, I'm all for that. They've also said a few troubling things, such as, uh, you know, we really like uh, the Metro series and we'd like to share with more people, so we'd, uh, we're hoping to broaden its, uh, its, like, base. They they said a lot of, you know, business terms, which makes me go, ah, shit. The, the thing that made Metro so great was that it wasn't really for everyone. I'm not... I'm not going to say, uh... What I'm going to attempt to do is talk about what makes, uh, Metro, this series, uh, video games or books, uh, so special, is by saying that it's really not like anyone else. It is special and unique. However, I'm going to try to talk about it without sounding like an asshole that's super into Dark Souls. I know those people. Those people actually make me wish that I was better at violence because I would punch them all over their bodies. Ah. Uh. Uh. So, basically, the feeling, I suppose, that Metro gives... Stop that! Uh, is one of its biggest strengths, the overwhelming, pervading, you know, sadness. That, uh, an emptiness. That, uh, I guess... Fuck off! That uh, really only comes. Uh, that really uh, Fallout really get uh, comes close to you know replicating or being like that. Fallout, however, has some moments of. I just stabbed that guy in the butt. Sorry. Uh, has some moments of uh, some of levity. There's some comedy in there. They have lines that just make you go, <laughs> "That's funny," and make you smile, make you laugh. Uh, this game doesn't have none of that shit. It's just constant, like, constant entropy and loneliness and survival against all odds. Which is why I keep saying that playing the game like I am, uh, on normal, you should not do that first. This game is all about making you feel like David against Goliath. However, instead of a slingshot, what you have is an assortment of sharp toothpicks. Mom told me not to talk to strangers. Please, Uncle, are you hurt? Hello, my name is Arthium. Now we are not strangers. He won't wake up. I oh, think God. He's dead. He's I just... dead, isn't he? How? You'll take me? I don't know you, but if I don't, I guess I'll get mm. eaten by the monsters. Wow. Yeah, I re remember when I was talking okay. about all Maybe that I'll sadness? You can shoot the monsters, right? Case in point. Uh, if the, uh, if it please the jury, okay. this would be Exhibit A. My name A. is Sasha. You shoot, and I'll watch your back. We just saw all of that, and now, in an effort to, you know, survive, I'm going to loot your dad's corpse. He was taking me home when the monsters came. They jumped at him. Sorry. They started shooting, but then a big Nosalus beat him in the neck. Watching a child's father die, and then rooting through his body for things that will help us survive. You know, generally, that would be considered fucked up. Uh, however, in Metro World, totally fine. Because you need that shit. It's 
It's that kind of like heavy distortion of morality that really gets me. I suppose it would. Oh. Fucking pigs. All right. Here's. I guess it's time to tell my pig story. Uh, I have plenty of. Whoa. I have plenty of stories about this, but I would like to. Uh, you know, introduce people to that portion of my life. I suppose. Ah. Uh, they're uh, not too recently, but I suppose uh, two years ago. Uh, in an effort to make some money. Uh, gh, fuck off and die. Trash talk, trash talk. Insert trash talk here. I'm just going to start doing that. Anyway. In an effort to make some money. I, uh, I partnered with a farm uh, and a farmer. Uh, like a proper, like out of the way farm. Many, many acres. Uh, they, there were sheep, horses, uh, you would plant crops. You know, proper farm. Ah, uh, apparently the, uh, the dead person, the dead, still dead human being that is, that was bleeding in front, in front of a child, not his father, but his uncle. So everything's all right. I'm not allowed to touch it, but there's ammo in that locker. I don't even know why you're not allowed to touch it. We're fighting That's monsters. Water. Also, how did you know that? Is this, uh, is this where you where our camp was? Oh. This is where you set up camp? Because I'm seeing a lot of dead things around it. Hey, kid, you, uh... You want to talk about it? Because I'm pretty sure I, uh... I'd regret it if I bring you back to your mother and all of a sudden you go all Dexter on everyone. I have a gun too. Dexter from, uh... <laughs> Dexter, uh, the live-action series, not Laboratory. <laughs> God damn you, Nosalises! Get out of my laboratory! They just come up with their big floppy noses. Ooh, what does this button do? But instead of exploding the laboratory, they just tear a guy's face off. All right, this has gone off the rails. What was I talking about? Pigs! Farming! Yes. So, uh... Hey, kid, look at that! That... Fuck you up. I'm not, I'm not attempting to dramatize this child, but I have a feeling it's just happening. Pigs. Farming. Pigs. Finish the story, Austin. Focus. Focus like a laser beam. So, uh, while, I mean, uh, doing all that, I, I helped around along the farm, because once you work on a farm, you can't not do everything. You can't. <laughs> uh, what I did was I, I bought, you know, piglets, and I raised them over the course of, I suppose, half a year, maybe more, until they got to market weight. And then I, uh, I had them butchered, and then I, uh, I sold the meat. Kept some for myself, obviously. Hey, look out! There's a hole! Uh... And, uh, everybody, uh, kept saying. Um, everybody would say, do, do not give the pigs names. Because, uh, once it's time for them to, uh, go off to, and now I'm air-quoting, market, that, what that means is, you know, wheel them into the dark room, turn all the lights off, slit their throats one by one, I don't know how you, I, I don't know how to humanely, uh, Slaughter pigs, that's not my department. Or it wasn't my department. Uh, ah, damn it, I didn't find the key. Uh, but what they said was don't give them names. You know, you'll learn to love them, you'll get attached, and when it's time for them to go, you'll be very sad. Now, I gave them names, and those people are full of shit. Because pigs are very smart, and they want to explore. So, you build a huge pen for them to walk around and do all kinds of shit and talk... Not talk to each other, but like be around and socialize, but all they want to do is break out and run around and play in fucking traffic. So... <laughs> so I would... Instead of like... Instead of what everybody thinks happens to pigs, you'd like, uh... You'd go in and you're like, oh, there's... Uh... Well, alright. There's my pig... I called one Piggy Smalls, so like, oh, look, there's Piggy Smalls. He's looking for... I don't know what a pig's do. Looking for truffles? Isn't that cute? I love him! I couldn't possibly cut his body into small pieces, cook them, and eat him. 
Uh, no, what actually happens is, you know, you're at the farm from like 5 in the afternoon to 10 at night. You finally finish everything and you're, you're on the way home. You get out, you, uh, you, know, you know, you finish your drive, you get out of the car. And uh, you take your boots off, and you're about to get into the shower and then go to bed. When you just hear the, the phone, just, the phone. Yeah. Bring, bring, bring. Uh, hey Austin, it's uh. All right, I'm not gonna say his name. It's your boss here. So uh, Piggy Smalls got out. He's running around. Come back, or he will die. Awesome. So uh. You know, I've never been like, uh, I've, I, I, uh, I suppose that my family is, I don't know, whatever the opposite of vegetarians is, but, uh, I've, you know, I had love for animals, I think that life is important, no matter what it is. Wait a minute, I still have my gas mask on. Uh, however, I gave the pigs names, all of them. It was like, Piggy Smalls, um, Peter Porker, I think? You know, silly, stupid names like that. And then there was Jeff 1, Jeff 2, Jeff 3. There were 20 pigs, so I can't really remember all the names. Uh, a lot of them were named Jeff, a number. <laughs> and so I, uh, I sent them off to markets. Uh, and not only was I not sad, pigs are now my least favorite animal. So I don't know what that says. That either speaks something to people who think they know about farming, or something about my character in general. Do you think we can climb all the way to the sky? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really maybe I'm just like sky. maybe I'm just like some psycho serial killer in denial. Like I tell people like I love I love life. I abhor violence, but like I accidentally like stab a dude and I'm like I feel nothing. What is this? I don't know. Thanks, hey, man. Found your kid. He's not your kid. Hey, man. Found your kid. But this man took me on his shoulders. I helped him to save So, uh. Mom, I saw the sky. But take these cartridges. At least it's something. Mom, I saw the sky. Resist. Urge to take. No, just don't. Ah. Uh. Whew. Still the good guy. Still the good guy. All right, let's go. Oh, you uh, you know, the voice actor for this child. The black station is not the video here. game. The D. D. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that title. Wow, look at my shadow. I have just got tons of shit on me. It's like... <laughs> I look like Doom Guy. If Doom Guy actually had all that shit on him. But I suppose that makes sense. Hello, Urchin. I found you a friend! Oh, God. <laughs> look at the pig in that cage. Way to go, guys. You give them a you give them a couple extra feet and they'll find <laughs> they'll find out how to fuck you with it. Wow, I just keep finding new notes. Man. Perhaps when I played this game originally, I wasn't as observant as I thought. Man, you are so alive. I am I am the best. What's up? Good guy. Coming through. No. I'll just... I always buy a filter just in case. Good deal. Need ammo? Special offers. Uh, discounts. Uh, best guns from the Forge Masters. <sighs> you have... The greatest hat, sir. Actually, you know, you look like an old science teacher of mine. Although, you could stand to gain a few more pounds and, you know, really white up that beard. Because, uh, let's see what you got for me. No. No. Sorry, man. 
You Whatever. ain't got nothing I want. But, you know, just to be care. Just to be safe. Let's see if there's any customizey shit that I want. No, none of that. Ooh. I like it. Mmm. Very good, I want this. Okay. Let's go shopping! Come through. Fuck, what was I saying? Oh, it's a PlayStation game. The dis... dis mm. I will... I will take your word for it. I don't know anything about it, but, you know, perhaps I'll try it out. You know, what I'm on right now... Ah. Uh, you know, I play video games. Aside from... What's it called? You know, broadcasting, because, you know. I went up again to the gloomy charm of post apocalyptic Moscow. Oh, no shit. I was warned in the whole station by yeah. the new squad of Nazi Rangers on the surface. So, uh. But I the game that I, uh, am about to start playing on my own. And send his message uh, to Polis. Is, um. Grim Fandango. The remastered version. Oh, I remember this part. Ah. You know, being sneaky during this part is... so frustrating. But rewarding when you finally do it. Uh, but by that, <laughs> by that time, uh, it could be, you know, Stockholm Syndrome. But what I'm going to do is... shoot him up. Do the violence. All that fun killings like. Alright, that's gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna get through as far as I can. And then. Open fire! Let's go through it again. We have 15 minutes at max to get the airlock open. If we don't... Time, pull back to base. Woohoo! Hello, they're here! Oh! Somebody threw one at me! Oh, wow. Bullets hurt a lot more than I thought they would. I wonder what I expected was going to happen now. Alright, he's gone. Oh, Grim Fandango is, uh, a video game that I would unabashedly consider a masterpiece. Ah, shit, that does nothing. Alright. We'll just run at him diehard style. yippee ki -yay, Mother Russia! <laughs> I love that one. Just the PG-13 version of Die Hard. <laughs> the new Die Hard movie is like... is like a, uh... like a... A, uh, a cable TV edit of a regular Die Hard. Like when they, uh... Like... <laughs> if you ever watched The Sopranos, not on HBO. Or, uh... No, not The Sopranos, not on HBO. But like a Casino or some, a movie like that. Like a, a Joe Pesci a heavy <laughs> movie. You hear a lot of, like... What the frig? But like, uh... Like a weird, like, chopped up edit. It's like, you, mother... Just like, you hear his mouth move, but, uh... But, like, no sound comes out. And then all you hear is, like, bastard, or asshole, or something like that. But really, what he was like, you son of a bitch, I'm gonna rip your cock off and shove it down your fucking throat. Like, just like the most ridiculous Joe Pesci shit in the entire world. 
I'm gonna shove 25 angry salamanders down your urethra. <laughs> Something awful like that. Gee, where did that come from? Oh my god. Any five angry sound. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> but yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is you should try Grim Fandango. It's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Uh, the only other game that I'm playing on my own right now is, you know, Battlefield 4, which is... <laughs> Ugh. The campaign, I don't do multiplayer. That's not my style. Like I've said, I'm also not sure if I don't like multiplayer because I suck at it, or if I suck at it because I don't like it. Oh, that guy's got some problems. Alright, see you. Oh. Oh, oh, let's get inside, Artyom. Get inside, please. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Yeah, all right. Sneaky. God, this game is a walk in the park on this mode. I know I, I won't stop talking about it, but goddamn. <laughs> yeah, perhaps the 25 Angry Salamanders <laughs> thing was just one step over the line, I suppose. Like, here's the line, here's me. I'm just dipping my toe over it, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I do a long jump. Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. Sneaky. Now, Tommy, you're done for! You know, generally, I would save these for monsters, but I'm, I'm absolutely swimming in shotgun shells. I just shot that guy out of his shoes. God damn. Give me something. There was something here. Hang on, Nazis. Don't shoot at me. I'm trying to loot. Alright, perhaps I was imagining it. Time in. I'm the good guy. <laughs> Anything over here? Let's just check around real quick. Then we'll uh then we'll head to the roof. Do 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 25 angry Sam. Fuck. That's so funny. I can't think of, like, anything else to say. Because I just keep thinking about that. I'm like, hey, <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. I, uh... I have a, uh, a friend who will constantly, uh... Who is much, much younger than me. Who has never, like, uh... Like, has never, like, seen Casino or anything. She just, like, has... You know, a, uh, a loose grip on celebrity. So, uh, like, she knows, like, who some celebrities are. And so she keeps... <laughs> she keeps mixing up Danny DeVito and Joe Pesci. Like... That would make, uh... That would make It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia a very different show. <laughs> I'm stuck on this ladder. I can't move. Uh, damn it! You know, the crazy thing is... I, uh... I've, that's not the first time that I've been stuck on that ladder before. That was an unfortunate turn of events. Let's go up this way. I've seen him! It's me! So, uh, anyway. 
I, uh, I have a good laugh thinking uh, if Danny DeVito was, uh, or no, if Joe Pesci was in, um, <laughs> is in It's Always Sunny, and if Danny DeVito was, like, in Casino, or, uh, no, in Goodfellas, where Joe Pesci's, like, the guy who's, like, always angry and he shoots everyone and he's like, we're gonna be made men, guys, it's, it's gonna be good. Like, he was the guy who kept the mafia dream alive if he was just replaced by Danny DeVito, some, like, troll-looking guy who just walks around like, will you guys hold my foot? I want a picture of you holding my foot. I don't know. Yeah, because apparently Danny DeVito does that. He has uh, a weird-looking foot, which he calls his troll foot. And he, he just... When he meets people, he just asks uh, to get a picture of them holding his foot. Uh, see, I hope one day to, uh, to be uh, so famous... That, uh, oh yeah, I'll see you later, man. Uh, one day I hope to be so famous that I can ask people, like, ridiculous shit like that, and it becomes funny as opposed to being creepy. Because if I went up to random people, even if they knew who I was, and I asked them for a picture of them holding my foot, um, I would probably find out in that moment what pepper spray tastes like. Peppers, I assume. I've never been pepper sprayed or tasered. Which, uh, I suppose is an achievement, although it probably shouldn't be. Alright. Now. Oh, fuck. Alright. We are. Our goal right now, as it stands, is we need to put a radio message uh, onto the broadcast tower, which is at the top of this building. Uh, in order to warn. Uh, people of incoming monster assault. So that is what we're going to do. Because a dying guy, and you could tell he was dying because he was holding his side, asked me to do it. And of course, everybody knows that in video games, movies, books, or otherwise, uh, if you're the good guy, you cannot, if you're the good guy or a good guy, you absolutely 100% cannot refuse somebody's dying get. Wish, even if it's weird. Okay, time to get a move on. There we go. Even if he's like, when I die, <laughs> I want you to cremate me and then make coffee out of my ashes and then give it to people, but don't tell them it's me. You're like, okay, I guess. Wow, this is really gross coffee. What did you, uh... What beans are this? Oh, it's, uh... It's, uh, it's Danny DeVito's special blend. Oh, wow, you mean Danny DeVito, uh... Danny DeVito grew these beans? No, I mean that's Danny DeVito. Oh. I remember, uh, I actually remember this part very well, because, uh, I had a very, very hard time, uh, with this, uh, on, you know, on survival hardcore. So I remember there's, like, a hole in the floor that I gotta go in, and then, uh, you know, into the lobby, and then out the door, and there's this whole, you know, firefight where I have to run, and people are being chased by demons. Alright, here we go. However, this time, I think we might just leg it. Ah. Balls. No, no, no. Okay, we can go this way. Very good. I actually don't think I've ever gone this way. I always get lost inside the building and then have to find my way down. There might be fat loot over here. Sweet, sweet bullets. Ah. Fuck? 
Do I still have to go the other way? Ah, oh, yeah. Damn. I thought this was a new and interesting way to go. Oh, wait. Maybe a little bit of Russian parkour. Alright. Then up here. Then... And we're back on the roof. Son of a bitch. Oh, wow, it's... It's a shortcut. A sneaky and... <laughs> with less bloodshed, a uh, way to get up to the top of the roof. I will remember that for next time, if there is a next time. Very cool. Alright. Hmm. Where is that goddamn hole? I know it's here. Oh, shit, I'm in the wrong area. Everybody's favorite part of this game. <laughs> Me... wandering around the surface. I wonder what's over here. Is it deadly? Yes, it is. Nah. Hole in the floor, where are you? Hmm. This is really taking up a whole lot of time that I could be using for more productive things, like ending the lives of imaginary, invisible, line-of-code Nazis. Alright. Let's follow the arrow. Oh, here it is. This is down here. There's the hole. Thank God. Okay. Now, let's just John Rambo this shit. <laughs> I think it's time to draw our first blood. Wow, was that really the best Stallone impression that I could, uh, that I could muster? <laughs> I really need to work on that. Adrian! Adrian! Um, nah, maybe. I'll, uh, I'll give it some work. <laughs> I'll come back with you, uh, to show you my findings on Sylvester. Ah, good, some air. Oh, I'm sorry, <clears throat> some air. He isn't going anywhere. Yo! All right. Oh, I, uh, I, I've got a ton of those now. I should really use that gun. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, Austin, <laughs> resist the catchy marching music. Alright, that should be everything. Alright, let's fuck off. Man. It, it, this difficulty makes you feel so powerful. And then the demons come. It also does not help that I'm using a silenced weapon. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Or it doesn't hurt that I'm using a silence weapon. What did I say? Doesn't help? Of course. Right 
doesn't, uh, I occasionally mince words. Like everybody does. Uh. Sorry about that, I'm just going to have to take all of your shit. I'm a good person. <laughs> I just shot three human beings in the back. Because I'm the good guy. Man, apparently that, that joke is going to get old. But it's... I think it's something special about this video game that... When you end, like... When you... It's so easy and rewarding. And it's not easy. It's difficult and yet rewarding. To, uh... To go through this game without hurting anyone. So when you do play this game... Just... So violently, it, every single kill that you get feels like, Ugh, shit, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm the good guy. So, uh, I keep saying it, and probably some people are annoyed at it, but it's really what I feel. Alright. That was, uh... What time is it? I think... I, uh... Yeah, this is uh, another, like, sneaky area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this uh, here. Uh, everybody who has watched, uh, thank you for watching, uh, even this late. Sorry about that. Uh, so uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching.